right? Okay, so so these are there are there are also similar properties you you would uh, need uh, to have this this limiter, both non oscillator and second order. Yes. So the second property, what do you say? Equal to? Is the adjustment you are? Phi has to be less than 2R, right? It can be at different values. So, so for example, if this is phi, if this is R, uh, the second property would say that phi has to stay below this line. So if it exceeds that you said phi equal to 2R? If it exceeds, no, phi is a function you construct, yeah. right? So if R, uh, if for example, if R is equal to 0.1, your value of phi should not be greater than 0.2, oh, oh, okay. right? Okay, so basically, uh, the properties we have discussed says that if r is negative, I can only be phi equal to zero, okay? When r is equal to one, my phi should be exactly one, all right? There are other properties, for example, uh, let, let me actually draw this closer to the origin. So this is one, this is zero. Uh, I should be exactly equal to one here. It turns out there is a curve like this. Uh, so this line is phi equal to two r. This line is phi equal to r. And this is one and this is two. The kind of limiters that works best are has to go through this region. If you go out of this region, either you compromise the second order accuracy or you compromise the total variation diminishing property. So you have to construct a function that is zero when r is negative and goes through this shaded region when r is positive. So there are uh, in your, in your homework, there are several choices of limiters with analytical formulation uh, formulas. For example, the mean mod limiter uh, goes like this, so it traces the lower boundary of this admissible curve. And uh, there is also this super B limiter that traces the upper boundary of this curve. And uh, you will see how the, actually the solution would look different for these two. And uh, you can see that the, the super B is trying to construct a as high slope as possible, while the mean mod limiter is trying to construct a as low slope as possible. So the mean mod would be second order, but qualitatively looks the most like a purely uh, first order scheme. While the super B limiter would still be non oscillatory, non uh, still be TVD, but the uh, the solution looks most like a central flux um, as possible. And there are also compromises between them. Uh, the Van Leer limiter goes like this, so it's a it's a smooth curve. It's like two r over one plus r. So that that's a that's probably the easiest to implement limiter uh, for all kind. It's also the behavior is kind of in between mean mod and super b. All right, so hope that will give you uh, everything you need to solve the project. And uh, so I will see you next Wednesday. So, so before the project is due, I think I'll add an additional office hour, uh, probably on Tuesday. And uh, uh, so I will see you next week.